Hello, my name is Eddie and today we're going to discuss the operation of the Ogun tractor. In this short video, we'll discuss how to start the tractor, your parking brake, your front and rear lift control, the drive pedal with forward and reverse and braking, and your turn assist pedal for your left and right zero turn. Before you start the tractor, be sure your fuel valve is in the on position. When you're finished with your work and you turn the motor back off, be sure to turn your valve to the off position. To start the engine, you have to be fully seated with a seat belt buckle. To start a cold motor, you pull the choke out all the way. You turn your throttle up to 25% and turn your key to the start position. Once the engine starts, you push your choke in halfway and wait two to three minutes for the engine to properly warm up. Once the engine's warm, you push your choke all the way in and you throttle up. If you're going to perform work, be sure that your throttle is at 100%. This ensures that your hydraulic system is getting the maximum amount of torque and horsepower. Once you're done with work for the day, turn your throttle to the minimum position and turn the tractor off. If you have already warmed up your motor, it's not necessary to use the choke. Simply put it to the 25% throttle mark and turn the key to the on position. Let's go ahead and do this one time. About halfway, let the motor warm up for two to three minutes. Once you get there, you can push the stroke in, throttle up. Turn to the off position. The Ogun tractor is a fully hydraulic system. Each rear wheel has its own independent drive motor to move the tractor forward and reverse. The Ogun tractor is equipped with a forward and reverse control pedal. To go in reverse, simply press down at the bottom of the pedal. The harder you press, the faster the tractor will move. To go forward, simply press the top of the pedal. Again, the harder you press, the faster the tractor will move. The braking system is built into the wheels like a zero turn lawnmower. Simply release the pedal and the tractor will brake itself. To brake more quickly, just gently press reverse until the tractor stops. Move in reverse, press down on the bottom. Move it forward. Brake that off. The lift systems are controlled by your two spool control valve, left and right. The inside handle should be your front, forward will let the implement down, and back will pick the implement up. Same for the rear, be the outside handle, press forward to put it down, and you'll pull it back to lift it up. Pull back on your handle to move the implement up. Push forward on the handle to move the implement back down. The Ogun tractor is equipped with a parking brake. The braking mechanism is built into the hub of each independent drive motor. The brakes are adjustable and we will discuss adjustment procedures in a later video. To engage the brake, simply pull up on the handle until it's fully engaged. To release the handle, slightly pull up, push your button in, put it back down. One of the best features of the Ogun tractor is the zero turn capabilities. The two pedals on the left side are not brakes, they are control pedals. The left side controls your left zero turn, the right side controls your right zero turn. When you press the right or left control pedal, it makes the corresponding wheel turn in reverse, which assists in the zero turn. So when I push the left side, my left wheel will slightly turn in reverse. When I push the right, the right side will slightly turn in reverse. To properly perform the zero turn, you press the left pedal, turn your wheel to the left, and press forward on the accelerator. 
Once the zero turn is complete, release your accelerator, release the control pedal, and turn your wheel straight and continue forward. Same as for the right, press the right control pedal, turn the wheel to the right, press forward on your accelerator. Once the turn is complete, release your pedals, turn your wheel straight, and continue forward. The O-Gun tractor is equipped with a differential lock system similar to a rear end differential lock. To engage the diff lock system, simply press and hold the button on the floorboard between your feet. When you hold the button, equal amounts of pressure are forced to both independent drive motors. Thanks for joining us on this short informational video. Please check us out on our website at thinkogoon.com. For more information and updates, you can check us out on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Have a great day.